Such big feelings. Can I shout them out if I don't I don't know the words. Yep. All right, what is up y'all? This is a very impromptu video. I am sitting in my car right now because I thought I was gonna lose my mind and I got myself a cinnamon roll. I am currently recording this on my phone on the front camera, which I feel like I'm really gonna regret once I start editing. But on my way to getting my cinnamon roll, I was thinking about how I don't really ever share spirituality on my pages anymore i used to quite a bit but i kind of stopped once the spiritual aesthetics started kind of like taking over the internet in some senses i feel like that trend made spirituality especially spirituality online feel very ingenuine and so i no longer really wanted to participate or associate with that just because my spiritual journey and spirituality is something that's really special and sacred to me and so i kind of stopped talking about my spirituality and spiritual practices and to be honest too, I feel like in the past couple years, my spiritual journey is still very much existent. But as far as like routines and practices, I've kind of slowed down in a lot of ways as far as the things that I do consistently. And I guess the ways that I'm intentionally going through this journey, I feel like I often go through phases where I do have a solid routine and there's things that I do weekly, if not daily. But for the past year, I want to say since moving down to LA and then moving up to Washington, I feel like it's really fallen off. And this is something I think about a lot just because I feel like in the past couple years, I've felt the most stable that I've ever felt in spite of not really having a spiritual routine and things that I do that intentionally ground me. And so I go back and forth on whether or not I miss having a routine because I enjoyed it. I think I get a little caught up mourning past versions of myself where I did remember feeling a lot of healing and groundedness not that i don't feel that way anymore but i think in general i'm trying to move forward and find things that are genuine to my current situation and not just falling back onto positive habits that at the time really benefited me and really helped secure me and get me to the space that i am in now and so that being said i feel like there's a lot of spiritual practices that i don't necessarily do that much anymore that have served their purpose and I will forever be grateful for that but I don't necessarily feel like they're things that I need to necessarily partake in at this current stage in my life but to sort of like realign with the purpose of this video one thing that I have done for a while and continue to do is releasing and manifesting with the moon cycles and I think the reason why I want to talk about this today and with this specific moon cycle is because I feel like I really heavily felt the energy of this full moon and for me that's the perfect condition for acknowledgement and really acknowledging releasing and letting go with the full moon and so i wanted to talk about that today and kind of share that practice with you it looks like i don't have a shirt on and i do yeah so in general full moons to me represent release and they represent a time to reflect which i think is an important aspect of growth in itself regardless of whether or not it's being done during the full moon i just believe the full moon is definitely an opportunity to really focus in this is not something that i do on every full moon but when i feel called to do something or it's something that is heavy on my mind i do like to tune into that and really take that into consideration and allow that to guide my actions and the practices that i do and the steps that i take and i'm actually currently recording this after the full moon which to me is not really a big deal and i just want to bring that up too because i feel like that is also kind of like an effect of the spirituality aesthetic and the spiritual trends that happened online and it's the concept of like a time frame or specific practices and a right and a wrong within those spiritual practices and because I don't specifically adhere to any type of structured religion and I'm more on an introspective spiritual journey I personally have detached myself from the value of a timeline within my spiritual journey the value of timelines within my practices and right and wrongs and strict regulations it really is something that i have just been learning to fill out and intuitively follow and if i don't feel anything then i allow that if i feel very strongly about something i invite that in and that's kind of how i've been currently navigating my spiritual journey and I think honestly the only thing that I try to take into my day-to-day -day routine is intention and be able to look at myself genuinely and see where I am 
sometimes standing in my own way and where I am causing more friction rather than allowing my life to flow. I feel like I'm someone who constantly has a conversation going on in their head and is someone who's constantly assessing and reassessing in the background and at times it is literally prison it is hell but i think also in ways it does provide a sense of security within myself and i've gotten really good at allowing myself space to just process my emotions and acknowledge them and really feel them out and experience them in the entirety of me without feeling like i am a victim or at will to my own emotions but because of this i feel like releasing is also really important for me as well because i can get stuck in just cycles of thoughts and thought patterns that are very harmful to me very harmful for my emotional well-being and honestly for others because I can get in my head about things and I will act out based off of trains of thoughts and scenarios in my head and that's not good and so for me releasing is not always super deep sometimes it's just me releasing little insecurities sometimes it's me releasing arguments in my head it's releasing negative thought patterns that I'm, I'm well aware of and know that I need to change. I am like thought daughter for real. Like that is I, she is me. And so one thing that I really like to do is I like to take time. I'll sit down probably for like 30 to 40 minutes. I will write a list of things that I would like to release, whether that's self-limiting beliefs, whether that's negative opinions, whether that's insecurities, whatever it is, I will write that down on a list and I like to burn it. And for me, honestly, I feel like the burning is a lot more symbolic than anything else. I feel like the real practice for me is just being able to write down and visibly see the things that are holding me back. And it almost allows me to view it as something that no longer has to exist up here and is now in the world. I am released from it in a sense, and it is something that I no longer have to carry with me. And so for me, the most important part of this process is truly just writing it down. And as far as knowing what it is that I want to center and focus on when I do feel called to do this practice, generally I like to focus on triggers. Like I said, I'm someone who is always thinking and so I like to assess triggers that are happening in my life or if there's any patterns and conversations or patterns and feelings that I felt over the previous weeks and I kind of use that as my ammunition and as my I guess like inspiration or theme for releasing for that month. So for example this past month I feel like I've really been dealing a lot with perception perception has been a major block for me for the longest time honestly and i feel like it ties a lot into my self-expression it ties into my confidence feeling misunderstood and a lot of other core pillars in my healing journey and in general just blocks that i've dealt with my entire life speech is another one too being able to speak my truth and be authentically who I am, feeling comfort in the spaces that I exist in. I feel like there's a lot of things that tie into this perception block and it's been something that I have been trying to work through for a long time. It's been a very big conversation within my own spiritual practices, within my healing journey and even meditations with others. And so the theme for this month for me is something that I'm definitely familiar with, but I feel like it kind of kicked up in a new way just because one thing that is very different is I'm not just dealing with me as an individual and who I am, but I do have a platform now. And it's not even being online that triggers me. I think in a lot of ways I'm finding triggers within my individual interactions with those around me who perceive my social media and quite frankly project a lot of insecurities onto me and my journey and what I'm doing and so that's been very hard for me I'm not gonna lie for the most part I feel an immense amount of support from those around me and my friends and loved ones it's really just people who don't know me that are the ones that are projecting a lot of negative personas on me and i think that's the only reason why i'm able to objectively look at the situation and still find comfort just because i know the people that are making me feel this way are people that don't truly know me and haven't known me and if anything they are only choosing to see me in the ways that they want to see me not in an authentic way where they're trying to get to know me and so i feel like that has allowed me to stay grounded in this situation but all in all i feel like it still kind of hits old wounds and it's a topic and a feeling that i'm very sensitive to and so it's been very hard for me to navigate it and that's something else that i really value about this account as well because it is a space where i feel open to talk about these things and honestly not fear judgment funny enough considering that it is the internet but i don't know yeah.
All right, I'm gonna let y'all go. I will talk to you very soon. Please let me know in the comments if this is something that you do or if you have any other practices that you really enjoy because I love hearing what y'all have to say and I would love to learn more about you. And so, yeah. All right, until next time, y'all, happy healing. Bye.